Hi everyone and welcome back for another class. Um, today we are going to be doing um, this cute little desert rose here. They are um, probably another one of my kind of I don't know, favorite plants. Um, they tend to be, they like drier soils, but they do well in high heat. Um, I've got two of them now, and um, I just, I love how the the branches tend to be more bare, and then they've got these vibrant flowers on them, and um, then the leaves on them are kind of sparse, so they just have a kind of a distinctive look. So on this, um, I don't think I drew this in ahead of time. I just kind of winged it. Um, but on this, it's going to be good to kind of plan out because it's going to be important to know where that center of that flower is going to fall because um, it is going to be kind of deep, like um, an inset there. And we want to plan for five petals on this. I'm not going to worry about putting in the leaves drawing those in, but at least on this. Um, these aren't things I'm going to go over a lot, so we're going to be working with a more intense um, color for when we put this in. So let me, let me wet my palette here. But the flowers get some of the most beautiful colors. Um, very vibrant reds and pinks and um, almost some of them even can get like that hint of fuchsia to them. So I've got I've got one that's in a little pot right now and um, I think I really need to put it in the ground because I don't think I'm giving it quite the water that it needs even though it doesn't need much. Okay, so um, I've got my color here, but I just picked up some that's a, it's a little more intense. I'm going to keep that nice and intense um, on my brush. And then if you notice, we're going to plan for some white space. So if I kind of start up here in the tip, and when I bring these edges around, I kind of want to leave them a little bit irregular. So they're kind of um, a little frilly on the edge. So on this, you know, my color's wet, nice and wet. So I've got time to kind of get those edges in. Let me see if I can straighten that up there. And um, then I can kind of pull and fill this in. But I want, like I said, I want to make sure I account for um, leaving that little bit of white space there in the center. Okay, so our tendency sometimes when we do this is going to be to like fill everything in and um, keep it, have it all one color, but if you can see here, I'm actually on this one here because it is a little on the intense side. I'm actually going to take a little bit and I'm going to lift this out a little bit. Not everywhere, but just so I get a little bit of color variation. Yeah, I can kind of keep this tip here intense. Keep some of these edges down in here. But just give a little color variation to that. So when I lay in the next petal, I think I'll work on this one here next. I just need to be mindful of my edges where they come together. So again, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of load up here a little more intense, pick up a little of this. So my the water that I'm picking up is also inky, and then I'll kind of start on the tip here. I'm going 
going to keep that nice and inky on the outside. So now I'll rinse out and just pick up some of this. This is a little softer. And then I'm going to just pull these edges a little bit at a time because I still want to keep that color more intense out at the edges. Kind of and give a little gradation to that. So more water now. I'm going to follow, you know, close somewhat what I've got in here. And I can leave that little bit of white space there. That's okay. And now that this has had that little minute to dry, I'll kind of decide what I'm doing here. And I think I'm actually going to extend this out right in there. And then I'll right here next to it I'll bring just a little bit of some soft color in there. Okay, so I can go ahead and let's say we'll work on this one. So on this one here, we're going to keep this petal lighter and then this darker underneath. But I'll bring a little more intensity again into the tip. So I'll pick up a little bit of that. come in and start to feather that out and I'll draw that up a little closer there and I'll leave, leave a little white space I didn't really leave much there and I'll go ahead and Establish this edge here. Okay. And then as we give that a little time to dry, I will work on this one over here. So again, pick up a little that's a little more intense. Okay, and so this edge in here, we've got it nice and saturated. Got a nice little delicate tip that comes out from there. Okay, and I'll rinse a lot, pick up some softer now, and then just Start here, softening that out. And then again, I saved a little bit of white space in here on this. Now, looking at this here, <clears throat> I think I will take a, just my damp <clears throat> brush. And even though that's a soft edge there, it's a little straight. And all I want to do is just kind of not make that. So where it came straight across, it's just a little softer now. anything else that needs my attention. I could maybe soften this edge right here. Got a little bit of blooming right there. But that's 
okay. I don't mind that. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, just to give this, because this is still pretty wet right in here, um, I'm going to give that maybe just a little more time to dry. So I'm going to work down here on establishing my branch and where I'm going to put the leaves. Um, so I'll use my burnt, oh, what am I doing there? My burnt umber. I'll bring a little yellow ochre into that too. Okay. And so here I'll have to kind of decide where that edge is going to come. If I kind of bring this here. And if you can see, I don't, I want to focus on not making this branch straight, but just making some little uh, slight irregularities to it, just to give it a little more character. this is wet I can dabble in a little more and then I'll let that dry a little bit and I'll come back again and add a little more to it um, so my position here is going to be a little different than what I have here based on where I put this at but I'll I'm gonna probably make the leaves just a little bit bigger um, and I'll make it work to what I have. So that's always the thing. Um, everyone's is going to be a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to take some of my sap green. And I'll be using some of this yellow ochre here in it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with... Um, I realize these leaves are a little more pointy than probably what you see on the plant. So I'll make them a little more rounded at the tip. Then we're going to come back and we're going to paint these again with a little darker color and leave those lighter veins. So I'm going to do one there. And then this one we've got a side view where we see just a little bit of that other edge to it. be able to get a full petal in here. Let's do this one a little bit. Sideways. And then we're going to bring one up here. should be dry here that we can come right up against that now. And I think for 
purposes sake does anything else will get lost behind here so you got two options depending on how you know I've done it this way or I'm gonna do a variation here that better fits what Those dry a little bit and so to deepen this up we're going to come back into our burnt umber I'm going to bring a little bit of ultramarine blue into it just to kind of darken that up a little bit and so here we can come in and tap in Texture. Okay, and then we need to let that dry. So I was trying to stay away from this edge here because I'm going to go ahead and put that other petal in for the flower. Again, I'm going to pick up a little more intense and I'm going to come into here now so it's nice and inky. some of this down a little bit. And then keep it a little softer here in the side. up into here now in this part here I want to deepen this up a little bit where I'm going to kind of establish this darker bottom of the little cave part here that is going to go into and then soften those edges there. So some of this here I'm actually lifting just so I'm not spreading out that darker color but it's still going to be diffusing that at the same time. So now I've got that little darker edge of the bowl I can come back and even add a little more intensity to that down in here. Okay, and then we'll let that dry a little bit. So on my leaves now, I'm going to basically use kind of the same color here. Um, you know, I might be mixing a little more of the brown. I had some of the yellow ochre here. But it's going to be that second layer that is also going to add, you know, a little more intensity to it. So I'm going to leave little gaps here between the sections 
and that's going to make it look like it's got lighter veins coming off in between here split this so I'm gonna what it's gonna have to do is gonna define this edge here so I've got one edge of the leaf and then this is the other leaf so I'm seeing the back side of this one So let's lift out some of that and we'll come back to this one after it dries so I don't lose, I want that definition there between the two parts. This just takes a little time to get each of these sections in. Uh, this one here, I think I'm going to I'm gonna have to split this one. an edge here. I'm going to make this darker in here. Okay, so if I have I'm going to bring just a tiny bit of black into my brown. And just kind of touch this again. Bring a little more intensity, a little more texture. So when I add that in and it's strong like that, I'm going to you know, just kind of lay some color and blot out my brush. And then my brush is just damp. And when I come in 
and just kind of move that around just to soften it up a little bit. All right, so my flower has had some time to dry. So to do the inside parts of the flower, that I want very uh, dry. So if I pick some of this burnt sienna here, okay, and it's going to be a drier color and more intense. And I'm just going to bring up and then just put a little knob. just a little bit. Um, this would be a good time I could go ahead and do my splatters. Um, you know, unless you had a spot that you wanted to come, you know, I could maybe add, come into some of this here. And if I wanted to add, you know, like a little more intensity somewhere, that I felt like I didn't maybe have enough. But I, I, my goal is not to come in and repaint these. It's, I kind of want to hit do like a, like a one and done. Um, so unless I feel that I need to do something to make sure everything's nice and balanced. In. This is nice and inky here, so I can. That's going to be a good. And then my final thing this is where I'll, I kind of want to wait for that to dry, but I'll come in and I'll layer in a little bit of some um, lemon yellow into that. So let me hit this with the hair dryer real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so that, you know, a little bit of drying makes a world of difference. And I'm not going to come in with this really like wet and soupy. Um, you can see my mix here. It's, it's not super wet. But I can just come in and kind of tap some of this around. And a little bit in here and kind of out into each just to kind of highlight that a little bit kind of draws your brings a little drama there to the center and if I wanted to deepen these up a little bit here I'm not going to fill the whole thing in. I'm just kind of tapping some little dots to this just to kind of help give them a little more contrast, a little more depth. All right, and there you have a, a pretty desert rose for today's daily practice. I hope to see you next time. Um, if you like these videos, please subscribe and give them a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.